Hey guys, how's it going? Jamie Alien here back again today. I'm going to show you guys my um, newest um, Jason Voorhees prop. Um, this is the, the Phantom mask. Um, this is the part two, um, aka Ted's mask. Um, this is like during the campfire jump scare scene. Um, the scary story of Jason Voorhees scene, that is. Um, whatever, Paul explains the story of Jason Voorhees and um, Ted, um, the pranker in the movie. I guess you can call him as a, a shall we 2.0, but Ted was the first guy to ever prank someone in the, in the franchise that is, then shall we came along in the picture in part three. So those two are prankers, and um, part two, Ted, um, he used this mask to scare people with in the movie, and um, you later see it on, on a stairway whenever Jason takes it off the spear and then chucks it on a stairway so that he can keep the spear as a weapon. Um, I had the spear as a cosplay purpose. Um, as, you can, as you can see, it goes with the spear. Like how they did that in the movie, whenever Ted puts it on the spear itself, and then he puts it like on the corner of a wall. And later on, Jason takes it off like that, and then he chucks it on the stairway. Um, the Nimbus said, like, whatever happened to the mask in the aftermath, but I did give a little bit of aftermath um, made-up story to it. Um, I imagine Jason Voorhees would like, um, would eventually would want to wear this, that or put it somewhere, such as um, Mama Voorhees Shrine, as like an offering to her. I always imagine him doing that with this kind of mask. I don't imagine him like throwing it away because they never said like whatever happened to this mask at the end or anything like that. But I do imagine Jason Voorhees would sometime, sometime wear this mask at some purpose throughout the franchise, before the hockey mask at least, because like who the fuck would want to wear that part 2 sack mask, especially has like one eye hole, like even Steve Dash, like he, he he said he hated that mask sort of, like he couldn't see out of it that good, you know what I mean, and I'm sure he would like this mask a lot more if they give him the option to wear this mask, hell I would wear this mask if I was Jason Voorhees, but yeah, um, yeah, I do have the part 2 bust, um, I am going to have, like, next to it... I might even have Jason Voorhees, the part 2 bust I made. I might even have him fucking wear this. Because, like, why not? You know what I mean? Because, like I said, like, I imagine him wearing this mask at some point. Because he is familiar with this mask. I mean, we see him take it off the spirit and chuck it, like I said. So he is somewhat contacted with this mask. You know what I mean? He's familiar with this mask in the part 2 movie, that is. Um, this is made by Don Post. Um... Um... Trick or Treat Studios. Um, this is um, who the people are, and this is what the mask is called: Phantom, F A N T O M E. No, F A N T O M E. Um, when you think of the word Phantom, you think of them like a evil, spiritual, ghost-like, lost soul, caped figure. Um, it's nothing you may compare to that Phantom, if that's what you're thinking of. For some reason I don't know why the fuck they call it as that. I even tried looked up that. Definition of F A N T O M Phantom that is, I couldn't get anything fucking out of it. Um, I don't know why they called this that. Um, I think Don Post made up called it that at some point and figured Trick or Treat would just give it that name again once again because this mask recently, this happens to be like the very newest mask that Trick or Treat Studios has ever released, so. Yeah, give my regards to Trick or Treat Studios. They're an awesome guys, awesome company, and um, hope they see more of these Max. I hope they make. I'm hoping they would make the Tommy Drivers Max because I I'd be very thrilled to get one of those. So whatever it's like the Alien one, or um, like the f few other ones that Tommy Drivers made, including the one in Part Five. Whenever um, um one of those bad teenagers um wears the mask to scare Tommy with his own mask and then he throws it in the kitchen. The kitchen fight scene in part 5. Whenever he goes in Tommy's room and then he steals that mask of his and then he uses it against him and he makes a big brawl in front of him. In front of his buddies. As a prank. Sick joke, that is. They got carried away. But, yeah. um, I am going to use this as a cosplay. And next to my bust, that is. Um, how I describe this, like, I won't even describe it as, like, a ghost or anything like that. 
when it went by Phantom, that is. Phantom. Um, I kind of want to refer to this thing as like a Yeti, sort of. That or um, a cannibalistic mound man. Because that's what they're technically were referring Jason as. And this is what Jason kind of would look like as a good example. You know what I mean? So they picked the right mask for the movie, I have to say. I mean, if I was willing to scare someone during a, like a campfire scene, this is definitely the mask I would fucking wear. Um, before the, I got this mask, um, when I was a kid and whenever I would always watch the part two Jason movie um, during the campfire scene, I would always have this mask on whenever I was a kid. And as you can see, they have the similarity, so this is definitely a Don Post Max. So, yeah, definitely Don Post. As you can see, it, it aged a little bit. But, as you can see, they had the exact same resemblance. They had the teeth style, almost. Um, they had the wrinkles on the face. They had the freaking hairstyle the same. So, yeah. So, I would always, like, think of this as, like, a comparison, almost, to the Phantom, that is. Like, again, I kind of like to think of this as, like, a witch doctor, sort of, or a mound man, cannibalistic man. Um, I do have, like, a, a ginger-haired one. My aunt Patty gave me. Um, it kind of resembles like a witch doctor sort of way. It kind of looks like a witch because it has that, like that kind of teeth style, like that. But yeah, let's try to sing on, shall we? Um, it's kind of like small in a way, but since I have a small head, I don't complain that much. Yeah. Pretty cool, I have to say. Um, I would like to do some reenactment scenes to that. That'd be my future to this mask. Um, I might be even thinking about putting this sucker in the corner of my room, since I have out as a display like that. Since they pretty much did that in the movie, with the spear and the mask itself. Ted's mask and spear, that is. Yeah, have it out. But yeah, like, I don't know why Jason never wore this mask. I mean, like, hell, like, I would, instead of that piece of shit sack of a mask. Like, like, who wouldn't want to not want to wear this? I mean, I would, you know what I mean, if I was Jason. And I always imagined Jason would wear this mask at some point, since we see him wear the hockey mask, and that was Shelly's mask, obviously, from part three. And he happens to be the second prankster of all time. I think he was... Because when I first saw Jason take off the mask off the spirit and he like threw it on the stairway, I always imagined him being like pissed off because they were they were referring him as this, as an ugly as entity being, cannibalistic guy. I guess that's why Jason didn't wear this mask and, and he figured to stick with the part two sack mask, the one with the one eye hole. I guess that's why. I don't fucking know, but I would wear this if I was Jason, like I said. But yeah, um, I kind of recommend people would buy, would buy this mask, but only if you have like a purpose to buying this mask. Um, if you're that kind of guy that does not, does not have a fucking fractured teeth collection, get the fuck out, alright? That's all I can say. Whether you like it or not, I mean, but if you are that kind of guy that's a fan of Jason and you have a Jason collection, please do get this. Because it's a good cosplay good layout, that is, for a decoration of Friday 13th collection, that is. But yeah, um, I might be thinking about making some Tommy Jarvis Max. I'd like to do that down the road. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it's a pretty damn cool mask. Um, this is probably, um, the only company you could ever get this on, um, Trick Tree Studios, um, they're pretty cheaper too, only 50 bucks, so it can't really beat that, I guess, um, if you get it on Amazon, it's like 100 bucks, so I should actually don't get that shit, so, yeah, it's kind of like a rip-off, what you think of it, um, in case you're wondering, this is not a rip-off, um, I don't want to get any shitty-ass comments, alright, um, the hairstyle, um, it's not as accurate how you see it whenever you see it in the movie, when it makes it the first appearance and second appearance, 
that is. Um, the hairstyle in that movie is like dirty style. Um, the reason, the only thing that's different about it because um, the part two they want to be creative with the mask. Um, I found out about online. Um, the part two, um, Ted mask. Um, what they did is um, they spray painted or dyed it um, like a grayish striped around the hair itself on each side of the mask and for the front of the mask right around here in the front side of the, of the hairstyle um they use like a like a black stripe kind of like a skunk resemblance to it so i am gonna enhance this mask someday maybe like next month or something so yeah so next time when you see this mask i'm gonna cut the hair different trying to make it as accurate as possible like how i see in a part two movie that is and go from there and I might be thinking about watching part two, maybe today or, or tomorrow. Just a half hour to display along with my J Jason part two bust. Steve Dash, that is. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, I might be thinking about watching part two right now. So, yeah. And hope you guys like this video. Again, this is a phantom mask. So, yeah. Alright, guys. See you. Bye.